There are 14 different weapon types within Monster Hunter, but this weapon in particular being the Switch Axe and this more specific one that I will show you in a moment uh, which one you'll need to craft, kicks absolute ass and is not overly difficult to use straight from the get-go. Uh, of course this is the second part to my, uh, obviously the first part, um, of Monster Hunter Tips and I'll have a load more of these coming out for you guys. But if we take a quick look now, so obviously you want to speak to the blacksmith, this is a few, um, about four or five hours into the game, and then just go into weapons, down to the switch axe, and then it's right there. So on the defender tree is the first one you come to. And uh, unlike Rise, you can't uh, both forge and upgrade uh, weapons and armor within the same uh, within the same tab. You will then have to go back out and go into the upgrade tab. However, but if you just check out all these stats for all the things that are currently unlocked to this level, um, the Defender uh, Tree Axe uh, Switch Axe just has the best overall damage and the best um, blast capability, which is obviously an effect the weapon has. So. It, it, it it's it's a lot of fun to use and I will do videos on each of the weapons and what it works best for you but of course if you want to upgrade it you've got to go into the upgrade tab select your gizmo and then you can crack on and upgrade it and of course I can't upgrade this one yet as I need some form of ticket as you can see there uh, but I'm pretty sure that will come along but this axe has been absolutely kicking ass uh, for me and yeah basically I've been sailing through um, Having a, you know, the only the only monster that's given me trouble with it um, is the is just Diablos, and if you've ever gone against the Diablos, you know that that dude is a wanker. But uh, that aside, here we go. This is the switch axe. As you can see, it's in axe form. Um, it's very very quick to bring out. You can also do, you know, uh, all the attacks are obviously on the top right hand corner of the screen. So that's self-explanatory. So that's some of the attack. However, if you want to do some crowd control, use this. That's on the B button for the Xbox or uh, circle for PlayStation. Just mash that and that's crowd control. And then of course, if you press the Y or triangle, you'll do that overhead slam, which is awesome. And of course, if you pull this off again and then just press the right trigger, you will then trigger that awesome change into the sword. Now the sword is a little more clunky to use. It's a lot, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's a lot more powerful in that form. But you do move slower, um, and you can just pull off some awesome attacks. Uh, you know, just spiraling around, and you can also unleash the energy built up within it. You can see in the logo in the top left-hand corner is starting to glow. So there's some energy in there, and then you can just blast that into the enemy, um, or the monster, obviously, and just because I got blast damage on it, you can cause blast damage. Now, it, I pointed out you move faster, as you can see here, in axe mode. Um, but if you want to go into sword mode, like I said, you, you walk, basically. It's just a lot more just a, just a lot more clunky to use. Now, of course, there are lighter weapons that you can use and faster attacks to be done, but the larger the weapon, the more damage you do. Now, to test it out, I ran down here and uh, saw a very, very unlucky Kula Yaku over there in the distance. So I'll just show you now how easy it is for me to take it down. Uh, obviously spazzing out a bit there with the lock-on feature, <laughs> but uh, so apologies for that one, but there you go, straighten on the attack with the axe. Um, of course, always keep in mind uh, how the monster is behaving and what it's going to do, but you just see there the blast damage I'm doing on it, and this is just on its second, um, you know, second upgrade, and it's just, look at that, just breaking parts on it. Uh, now this is obviously just, um, you know, this isn't a hunt, this is just free roam. Um, but of course just there I've committed to the uh, attack and it boshed me to the side, but it's not too bad as I've got decent armor on. Um, but yeah, as long as you it's just there, let's see, nice little dodge. Uh, sometimes I put off some good moves, not all the time, but most of the time I do. But, you know, it's absolutely smashing it, uh, smashing it about as you can see, it doesn't really stand a chance. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not an overly powerful or dangerous monster anyway, but for anyone new to the series, they might struggle with anything. Um, but yeah, see, just like that, what, what's that, a minute? Maybe less? Maybe a little bit more? And it's already running away, and after grappling onto it and knocking it for six there, I pretty much now just take it straight down. And there we go. It should be dead any second now. Should have really recorded my narration whilst doing it, but you know I'm not that intelligent. But there you go. That's that's the damage that's done to that and, and sorted that monster straight out. Um, you know, after carving it up, I'll run over to the uh, to you know to take out some of these other monsters with crowd control and uh, 
just to show you very quickly um, you know how easy it is because some of the some of the more um, you know annoying tiny monsters that usually accompany the bigger monsters they can become a nuisance but seriously just ultimate crow control so you go to straight in and then you just mash that B button or circle button just mash it and you'll just take them all down but anyway guys that's just my video this this switch axe is, is definitely I think a very very um, a good choice for any new player or anyone getting back into the series uh, it does a lot of damage it's really fun to use because it has the two modes of the axe and then the great sword and it, it's ju it just looks badass but uh, I hope this video has helped you out please let me know in the comments what you think have you used it do you think you're going to use it and uh, as always thank you very much for watching and until next time